Okay, so you want to kill a bug. So, step one is get the hardball spell, which you'll find in this cave. Make sure you buy some crystal from this fella, and uh, then you should have a good amount of stuff. Uh, you won't be able to get play until later in the game. Um, I mean, uh, well, I'm sorry, later. After you kill the bug. Anyway, so it's pretty straightforward. You then go to this area, and you start killing these little skeleton snail dudes. Make sure you use hardball at least ten times. Doesn't need to be multicast. The way the spells level up in Secret Evermore is you, it's the number of times you cast them, not how many targets you hit. So you need to cast at least 10 times to get to level 1, which should be more than enough. Now if you're still feeling a little bit wary about um, fighting good old bug face, uh, feel free to pick up some armor in the top left hand corner of the village. Uh, this will of course will eat into your money, but it'll be worth it. Make sure you pack more nectars than I did as well. Picking up the surrounding items should get you enough dog biscuits this gets two revives for the dog. That should be more than enough. Okay, so I was level six to seven with the boy. Uh, the dog level is inconsequential. So basically, we're going to start the boss fight right now. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to beat this boss the legit way rather than doing the other way, which I will show as well. So basically you start off and you've got to hit the front breastplate of his stomach. Now, it turns out you don't need to wait, you can just swing three times and then cast a hardball on the heart. Now, it turns out you can just cast hardball straight through his chest. You don't even need to, don't need to do what I'm doing, which is trying to bash the the uh, chest plate open so yep thrax is heart bang hardball and you just want to cast as much magic as you can in. every time will knock you away and you'll take five points of damage not a big deal yeah here comes another one you you get the picture you get the idea I'll just uh, fast forward this section up a little bit Alright, so that was the fight. You might notice I swapped the dog there. The dog deals more damage, but the dog is a bit more cumbersome to control because he's pretty slow. So, uh, after you hit Thrax's rib cage uh, 12 times, it stays permanently open. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the legit way you sort of beat him. Uh, now, I'm going to show you the not so legit way to beat him. Okay, so this is the not so legit way to beat him. So first thing you do, swap to the dog immediately by pressing the select button. Then, you open the boy's radial menu and you select hardball. Now, when you do this, you select the target, you immediately open the menu again and select the same spell and the same target. This will shoot off multiple copies of the one spell. Now watch what happens. He'll take like 315 points of damage in one fucking hit. That's, that's half his health. Then I recommend swapping back to the boy because he can attack faster and move faster. Then you can run up really rapid fire hit um, Thrax's rib cage and then just walk up, wait for the 100% to tick over, bang, hit him good. Then just continue doing that until you beat him. It's that simple. It can be a bit difficult, don't get me wrong, I totally understand why you're having trouble. So it should be next hit I believe, I should pretty much have him done. 
The, the dog is kind of annoying because it, it, it actually is. Yeah, this was very close. It actually kills the um, actually kills the bugs which spawns, which makes more bugs spawn. Now I healed myself because I was like, Oy, that was a lot of damage. And I then also revive the dog because I, I wanted to be able to split and I heal myself again, obviously because I'm still on half health. Oh no, I didn't. I right, never mind. I lied. And then this should be it. Yeah, bang. That's it. That's how you beat tracks. Hope that helps.